The Story of Hardy Falconer Parsons Hardy Falconer Parsons was born on the 13th of June 1897 in Rishton, Lancashire, to Reverend James Ash Parsons and Henrietta Sophia Parsons, nay Falconer. By the following year, it would seem that the family had moved, as Ewart Moulton Parsons was born on October 1898 in Highbury, Middlesex. At the time of the 1901 census, they had moved to 43 Drayton Park, Islington, which was a Wesleyan Methodist church. The household consisted of James, Henrietta, Hardy, Ewart, and James's mother Mary, born 1833, Sidmouth, Devon. Also listed on the census at that address were Alan and Helen Spencer, two visitors to the church, and Amelia Wallhead and Mary Reed, who were the two servants. On the 13th of May 1902, Lyle Ash Parsons was born at the same address. The family moved around regularly in Hardy's childhood and lived in places such as Arnside, Westmoreland, Bristol, Islington and Newport, and in 1911, the family were registered on the census at 20 St George's Road, St Anne's, Lancashire. By this time, the household members consisted of James, Henrietta, Hardy, Ewart and Lyle. Mary Reed had been retained as the sole servant. Hardy was educated at King Edward VII School, Lytham St Anne's, and Kingswood School, Bath, before studying at Bristol University from October 1915, whilst preparing for medical missionary work. He was attested to the Gloucestershire Regiment on the 30th of November 1915, and transferred to the Army Reserve on the 1st of December, under the Derby Scheme. He was a member of the Bristol University Officer Training Corps from April 1916 and applied for a commission on the 12th of May, declining a safe post in a government laboratory. Although rather frail, he managed to persuade the doctors to pass him for service, despite two previous bouts of pneumonia and spinal curvature. He was mobilised on the 5th of October 1916 and joined the 6th Officer Cadet Battalion at Balliol College, Oxford the next day. He was commissioned on the 25th of January 1917 and went to France in March. He was 20 years old and a temporary second lieutenant in the 14th Service Battalion of the Gloucestershire Regiment in the British Army during the First World War. But late at night on the 20th of August 1917 near Ipe, France, Hardy's squad was attacked by the enemy. An extract from the London Gazette, dated the 17th of October 1917, records the following statement from the War Office. The King has been graciously pleased to approve of the award of the Victoria Cross to 2nd Lieutenant Hardy Falconer Parsons, late of the Gloucestershire Regiment, for most conspicuous bravery during a night attack by a strong party of the enemy on a bombing post held by his command. The bombers holding the block were forced back, but 2nd Lieutenant Parsons remained at his post, and single-handed, and although severely scorched and burnt by liquid fire, he continued to hold up the enemy with bombs until severely wounded. This very gallant act of self-sacrifice and devotion to duty undoubtedly delayed the enemy long enough to allow of the organization of a bombing party, which succeeded in driving back the enemy before they could enter any portion of the trenches the gallant officer succumbed to his wounds. There is some confusion as to the actual date of Hardy's death, presumably as it could not be determined whether he was killed late on the 20th of August or in the early hours on the 21st of August. He was buried in the Viers Fosson Cemetery in France. He was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross, which was kept at the Soldiers of Gloucestershire Museum in Gloucester. Later, this was moved to the Officers' Mess of Bristol University Officer Training Corps at the Artillery Ground, White Ladies Road, Bristol, and the mess is named the Falconer Parsons VC Mess in his honour. As he never married, his VC was presented to his father by King George V at Durdham Down, Bristol, on the 8th of November 1917. In addition to his VC, he was also awarded the British War Medal 1914-20, to 20, 
and Victory Medal 1914-19. The VC is held by the soldiers of Gloucestershire Museum at Gloucester Docks. Less than one year later, Ewart was serving as a lieutenant in the RAF and was killed in an accident on the 17th of July 1918. He was buried at Canford Cemetery in Bristol, and his gravestone also commemorates Hardy Parsons VC, listing the death as the 22nd of August 1917. In March 1929, their mother Henrietta died in Bournemouth, Hampshire, aged 62. Their father James died on New Year's Eve in 1963 in Linton, Devon, aged 96. Lyle married Constance Mary Fortescue Hubbard in December 1930 and served as a gunner in the Royal Artillery until he was captured in Malaya, North Africa in 1943. At some point after this, he followed in his father's footsteps and became a Wesleyan minister, until his death in Hereford in 1976, aged 74. It would appear that the couple did not have any children, and the family line ended when Constance died in March 1999, aged 89. On the 21st of August 2017, a blue plaque was unveiled in memory of Hardy outside the former family home in the Redland district of Bristol. Children from the soldiers' former school in Bath attended the ceremony, alongside the Lord Mayor. On the same day in his hometown of Rishton, a similar ceremony was held at the town's war memorial at 11am to mark the 100th anniversary of his death. In attendance were the Vice Lord Lieutenant of Lancashire, representatives from Hardy's own Gloucestershire Regiment, the University of Bristol Officer Training Corps, the Royal British Legion, local councillors and the Lancashire Constabulary. A commemorative stone was unveiled by the Mayor of Hindburn as a lasting reminder of the immense courage and ultimate sacrifice of 2nd Lieutenant Parsons. The story of Hardy Falconer Parsons was written and read by Ken Moss. With thanks to Hindburn Borough Council, King Edward VII School, Lytham St Anne's, Ancestry and BBC Radio Lancashire. The programme was produced by Maverick Productions.